So this wasn't supposed to be a um, long project by no means, it was just supposed to be like a weekend project and uh, I did it for the reason, um, basically the reason the way I did it was is I had the shaper set up to run uh, mission style or shaker style uh, doors. So I figured it was a good opportunity to show that setup as well. You guys have seen my other setup for running uh, cabinet door um, uh, frames with the traditional bead or I also have one them running a uh, kind of a beveled uh, inside profile and then um, that's all the same cutter heads that just change a tip but this one here is actually a whole new cutter setup it's actually a freeborn uh, six-piece style rail set that's actually um, it's the yellow uh, cutter set which means it's tan tongue which is actually a T alloy it's um, got a really nice edge it kind of cuts like um, high-speed steel but it holds an edge like carbide so um, it, something like that uh, the thing with freeborn or any uh, T alloy is you can't really run any mad main uh, material through it so no MDF or particle board or anything like that because you'll dull it up in a hurry uh, that's where kind of carbide stands in but if you're looking for a pristine cut um, the T alloy is really good because there's very minimal sanding especially on raised panels so Anyways, uh, the video is not about that, but I just wanted to share that with you. But uh, I'm going to leave the shop for a while. I'm going to come back and um, I'm going to uh, seal this bad boy up with a coat of uh, acid catalyzed vinyl sealer. 
and then uh, let it dry, powder it out, and we'll top coat it. So, like I said, this is supposed to be a weekend project, and uh, I did not get to finish it on Sunday, so here we're now Wednesday in the middle of, the, of that following week. So, finally got around to uh, staining it, and uh, yeah. So, um, you might wonder why I didn't stain the interior all the way. Uh, there is actually a uh, galvanized sheet metal liner that's going to go inside that. So, and that liner is going to be probably about a half inch from the top. So, uh, you really won't see it. I just didn't really see the see the uh, reason to do it. And as you saw when I started, I started to stain the bottom underside as well. I have no idea why I did that. You're never going to see it. it's going to sit on the floor. The only thing I'm going to do is actually uh, get some of those um, nylon glides. Uh, basically, it's like a big thumbtack. It's got a little nail in the middle. Um, I'll put four of those in there so this doesn't sit directly on the floor. But, yeah, like I said, just supposed to be a weekend project. And uh, you'll see what it looks like when I'm all said and done.